Okay, in the last video, I showed you how to get to this stage. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn this into a cutting path for the laser cut to, to cut everything. Um, now, remember, we did everything as a new body. That's really, really important. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to separate everything and move it around so that it's all flat. It's very important that it is flat. So we're going to take the front. The front's already flat. I'm going to take the top. I'm going to move that. And I'm going to move that 90 degrees. And I am going to move that at, to the top. Otherwise, life becomes very, very complicated. Now, it doesn't need to be... Um, you don't need to worry about this part because we're turning it into a 2D image, okay? So that's that one done. Uh, the base, I'm going to turn that one around and make sure that that stays underneath because then I know that that is the bottom of it. So let's put that there, there. Okay, the right side, I'm going to keep to the right side. Now, this is a pretty basic design anyway so I could probably find out where everything goes anyway but some of you are going to do quite complex designs so that was the right side let's do the left side so I'm clicking on the word going move and some of you have probably found a quicker way of doing this but this is the easiest way it just takes a long time and that's okay there and let's just move that further away so that we've got a rectangle and then we've got the tube now with the tubes i don't need to really do anything with those because they're not uh, they're not going to be cut out by the laser cutter but we'll move those around anyway because it helps with us with our thinking the circuit itself let's cut that that'd be quite interesting so i'm going to move that i'm going to put that i can save some space we'll put it there and I'm going to move that around, so that's 90 degrees. Let's have a look at the front. Okay, and leave that there. Um, and now the back, where's that back gone? Base, back, 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 back. Can't find it now. Right, these ones, we'll get rid of the batteries. right click and I'm going to remove those I don't want to see those again these ones these are the legs let's move those legs out of the way we can turn those as well to 90 degrees because that would be quite cool if we could make those on the laser cutter and make a life simpler we'll put those here and then we'll move these ones close up these ones closer and we'll highlight the whole thing and because we're because we're remembering that we're cutting everything out of one piece of wood we should really try and save a bit of the material okay and now the back where's the back 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 there you are Okay, and we'll just move that. That was already in the angle. Okay, uh, best to probably arrange all this so you're saving a bit of space, but I can leave you to do that. All right, the next thing, save it. I'll just call it speaker plans because we're looking directly at uh, 2D, so it's like a 2D plan. Um, for this one, we're going to go drawing from design. We're going to select the full assembly. We're going to A1, which is the very, very large. If yours is bigger, then go to A0, but A1 should be okay. It's important to do this as a one-to-one -one scale. Let's hope it doesn't crash. Okay, and we're going to turn that to one. Okay, so that is full size.
Okay, so after having a massive crash, let's try it again. So you've taken your, uh, this might be the other way around, but I'm used to seeing it this way around now. So we're going to leave it like this. Um, so what you do is you've saved your work. Make sure because that crashed it. Um, drawing from design, you're going to A1 or larger. Uh, might actually be able to do that on A2. We're doing the full assembly. That means everything and then OK. So what that's going to do is open up a piece of paper like a page that is A2, so that's double A3, so you won't be able to print it but that's OK because we're not printing it, we're cutting it. We're going to go 1 which is scale of 1 and we're just going to plop that there. We're not going to have any hidden detail, we only want what we can see and we're just going to press OK. Now you can highlight all this and delete it you don't need that you don't need that you only need this this is what the printer the sorry the laser cutter will see it will see these holes these lines and it will cut them and to do that you're going to output as a dxf and i want you to output as a dwg and i want you to do it as a pdf so there's three different outputs because if one doesn't work the other two will Okay, so you simply do that, so that, um, save that. That file we can then push directly on the laser cutter and it will cut. And that's that. Now the alternative, have I crashed again? The alternative way of doing all of this is not to do the bodies but just the sketches. So if I just did the sketch, I then delete all the construction lines Delete them. Okay. Okay. If I delete all the construction lines, and then, so let's say I didn't make any, uh, I didn't do any solid modelling at all. I only did, I only got to this stage. I then go here, and I know that I wanted that to go back 80. No, that was silly, wasn't it? Undo that. Right, press tab, go 80. Ah, oh, and that, so that's this side. And I can do the same here. So down to there, tab 80. And now I want the top, so R. And that was 80 as well, so that's the bottom. And then R for the top. I don't need the middle lines because uh, I don't want those to be cut so I can delete these lines here and what some of you are seeing is like a net development occur, um, appearing and it's not really it's, it's just because I went and put everything and connected it so now what you can see is there's the top, there's the side, there's the bottom, and now I want another one of these. So if I go here one, I wonder if I can do this in one step. If I go R, and just copy that whole thing, right click, can I copy it? No, I don't know what I'm copying. Okay, so this one was, let's just find out, inspect. So that is the same there. And the height from that to that is selection 2, 90. So I'm just going to do one more rectangle from there to there at 90. Okay. All of this is exactly the same as what I originally made. But now that's a cutting path if I finish that sketch, go to that sketch, that's what I wanted to, so this is what I want to cut, right click, save as DXF. 
Now if I save that as a DXF, that can go directly into the uh, laser cutter and also cut. So you don't need to do any of this business. I just crashed my computer again. I'm crying out loud. Anyway, you don't have to make any of this uh, 3D solid. You can do that just for your enjoyment or just to make sure that you understand what's going on. But you can actually draw the whole thing in 2D, never go to the 3D, right click that sketch and export it as a DXF. And that should also work for a cutting uh, plan. 